Hello everyone, this is uh, Inspire 2016. So we would like to give you a free tarot card reading for everyone. So the way we want to read the card is using the six card uh, major arcana layout. So the first card would represent how you feel about yourself right now. The second card will be representing what you most wanted at this moment. And the third card will represent your fears out of the situation that you have been going through. And the fourth card will represent what is going for you. And the fifth card will represent what is going against you. And the last card will be the sixth card represent the outcome according to your situations or the questions that you ask. So all of the spread will be presented based on your zodiac signs that means your sun sign rising sign your moon sign or whatever sign you have as the one that you hold dear in your deepest heart so let's begin the reading i hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, youtube thanks Hello Cancer, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 20th until the 26th of June 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the High Priestess. You are very aware of the feminine power within, intuitive and conscious at a spiritual level, looking for guidance and answers, a secret to be revealed. You desire a wise guide to help address your questions, and your intuition is just that. If you are male, the appearance of the High Priestess can represent a woman who you care for very much and who truly inspires you. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the judgment. The cards suggest that what you most want at this time is a new start, to close this chapter in your life and have a brand new beginning. This is not a time for regret but for rejoicing. Rewards for past efforts will follow and you are sure to have many opportunities presented to you. Life will pick up a pace and the choices you make will have far-reaching implications that could change your life dramatically. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the moon. Lies and insecurity are likely to be prominent in your life at the moment, you are afraid of being deceived and feel that you are being misled. Trust your instincts and let them guide you away from those who may seem charming but are only out for their own gains. Your turbulent emotions are muddying the waters, step back and try to find clarity of mind, although this may seem difficult. The moon does help to illuminate the way and don't worry, it will turn out alright in the end. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is the world. Success, fulfillment and conclusion are near at hand, the successful outcome to a venture, satisfaction in a relationship and efforts rewarded. This culmination of events indicates material wealth and greater spiritual awareness. You may choose to buy the dream house or a wonderfully fulfilling relationship is on offer. So, enjoy it. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the devil. It's like you're in a drug and you stays, it feels great and always leaves you wanting more. This is addiction pure and simple, whether it's an obsessive sexual relationship, money deals that are too good to be true, materialism at any cost or recreational drugs. Take care. These pursuits won't lead to a happy ending. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the wheel of fortune. Expect life to change, and quickly. Fate, destiny or synchronicity, 
call it what you like, positive change and good fortune is evident here. If you have important choices to make trust your intuition. Do you feel that events seem to be evolving without much input from you? If so trust it and go with the flow. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. Volunteer. Sometimes volunteer work is the best method of effecting change related to an issue that you're passionate about, and also of exploring a new potential career and meeting like-minded friends. This card is guiding you to volunteer in a way that is meaningful for you. Remember that when you give, you also receive. You can't outgive the universe. Some more additional meanings of the card is. Donate items, help a person in need, volunteer to be on a committee, and pray for God to assign you where you're most needed. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.